Hey guys, this is Drew Mario 1306. Welcome back to Crash Bash. In the last part, we defeated Komodo Mo and Komodo Joe in tanks, and we also raced around in Dot Dash. And now we're going to play Sky Balls, which is the last stage in the minigame Ball Sticks. And. With the exception of the first stage, I've had my fair share of failures regarding this minigame. The only gimmick to this stage is beware of the failing engines, otherwise the rules are the same as stage 1. And like Endballism, we start with 20 balls, or 20 points. And the failing engines is that if one of the engines fails, the, the stage will tilt itself for about three to five seconds. So beware of that. It's not going to be. It doesn't mean it's going to be that easy. I'm already. I was, I was on a losing streak there, and I'm still on a losing streak. It's not as hard as the. And ball is in stage, but it's still not a stage to be messed with. It's funny because stage one I had no problems with anything. And all of a sudden, the other th the gimmick stages are pretty much where my problems are with this mini game. One thing I will not do is collect the Crystal Challenge. I'll just... because the Crystal Challenge of this stage is really difficult. Boy. I'm really focusing more, although... Man, that was, that was a glitch, I think. That should have gone into Tiny's goal on this one. Uh, but hey, at least he's out. Anybody's game at this point. Okay, well, uh, Dingo Dow's out. We just need to hold on. Given the engines don't fail. Nope! Not that time. This is gonna be a long. It's gonna be a long episode, I bet you. We'll see. I might. No, I. I intend to get the gem challenge. It's the crystal challenge. I. I'm not gonna worry about. You'll understand by the time. We, by the time we get to it. Okay, everyone's tied at 17 at, at that split second. There's that failing engine I lost that that round. But I, I, I must move on. I'm, already, I'm in last place right now. Oh, was. I was in last place. Tiny's. I need to drop Tiny's score. Of course, it's going into my goal because of that. He still has 15. Everyone else is about to lose at this point. Where are you guys right now? As I wow, thirteen to one. Anyway, how, how are you guys? Well, right now I'm 
I recorded this over the weekend right now, and I have nothing to do, to be fair. <laughs> so I was like, okay, let's get some more Crash Bash episode. Let's get another Crash Bash episode in. So I decided, alright, let's do that. Because other than doing errands, all... The only thing I did was that... The only other thing I did was, like, hang out with one of my friends yesterday. Actually, we were hanging out with a bunch of friends, to be fair. We were playing board games. Board game uh, I played yesterday was called Avalon. It was actually a pretty cool minigame where... The rules are that, well... I'm sure this is irrelevant if you haven't played Avalon, but it's a cool game to play with three to ten people. Basically, we have to, like, one of us ha There's, like, a number of us who is evil, and a number of, like, a bunch more who is good, and then... What, what happens is that... Everyone puts a card inside, and the deal is, someone picks two, two to five people to go on a quest, but the catch is they can't pick someone evil, though, because someone evil will want to win, because if there's one fail, one evil person, then it depends who gets the point, the point out. It's best of five five rounds. Here's the catch though. The evil person can pick if he's a good person or an evil person, or in this case, succeed and fail. Good people always have to, have to pick the succeed card, however. So, the evil person could throw the person who's picking the quests off. So, if you play, if you heard of the game before, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, it's I guess you can look it up. It's a pretty good game to play. There's more details on that one. even longer with 20 balls, I mean, I would have been fine with the 15s, to be honest, because the game is exactly played like the first stage. No, it's the same reason why stage 1 was set with 15. Stage 3 was set with 20 because the engine was firing balls all around. Well, at least the gem challenge doesn't require that. is Dingle Dial, and I'm doing fine at the po at the moment. Until now. Well, no, I'm still doing fine. I just have Dingle Dial to worry about, as both of them are knocked out. That is not not something I want at the moment. Right there we go. Okay. All right. In my favor. Still can't fall for it though. Concentrating. Oh! Not the way I wanted to go out. 
Okay, everyone's at one point. Okay, fine. I'll take that. I'll settle with that. Now I just have to win the next two. Yeah. One game I also one board game I also liked is. I don't know if you played a King of Tokyo, but King of Tokyo is another fun game to play with other friends. It's basically that you have to achieve victory points while having a life meter. And here's the catch. If you stay in the city, there's like a city space, I think, and there's like an outside space. Like, you only earn points if you're in the city space, but you can also get attacked in the in the city space. So that might drain. That might also take your life meter away. And you cannot earn points. You cannot earn points if you're outside of the city. So yeah, that's the catch. That's another interesting game. There are more details into it. Alright, you know what? I am... Yes, so you know what? I can just force the victor right now. So why am I wasting time at this point? Yeah, just give it to the Dingo Dial, because at this point... Tiny's gonna lose all his points. Oh boy. Hey, I I just realized I can control who wins this game if I press the X if, if that was an option. Like if I wanted uh per se in this case if Coco and Dingo Dow were alive. Well, given the points that it's 1-1-1-2, one, 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 I wouldn't want Kogo to win, because Dingo Dao, if he wins, everything resets back to zero. And I have to start over my set number of wins. So I should probably use that to my advantage in case I'm not alive. And, it, or, and when I say that, I mean I've lost all my points. By the way, the background, believe it or not, is the same background in Stage 17 in Crash Bandicoot Warped. It's the same, same area where Coco actually had to fly her plane. I have done a Let's Play of Crash Bandicoot Warped, so check it out. You, you don't know. And this is not good. Game Liddell's winning right now. And if I do lose, then I'm just going to cut until... Well, I only have one victory, so I'll probably cut until I get my second victory, or better yet, get the trophy anyway. So yeah. That's if Game Liddell wins. Okay, this is not... Wait, I have... I have control. Tiny just has to survive. Nope, he's not surviving. Well, that sucked. Looks like I have to start over again. I guess I'll meet you back somewhere... ...where I'm actually achieving that trophy. Well, guys, from the looks of it, this is going to be an easy victory this time compared to the last time. I don't know why I sucked so badly last time, because I went 3-0 in that one. <laughs> but yeah, that was just the trophy challenge, so now we move on to the gem challenge. And I'm pretty sure you can tell what 
the gym challenge is by now because, as usual, the odds are against us. And, of course, the computer players will be harder. And, of course, we start with the scores of 15, of 15 to 9. Well, at least they kept it 15 to 9 this time, instead of the 20 to 15 from the last time. I hope this won't be as bad as the last time. Although I can't promise you that, after what happened in Embolism. It's just, I already lost one, one ninth of my points right already. to play hard. Anyway, back to the board game talk. We've built a lot of board games to be fair. Like, well, Bingo isn't really a board game, but I did play that when I was younger. Also, chess and checkers. I wasn't really good in ch at chess or checkers, really. You really have to master the game in order to... There's one simple move can actually make you lose the game. Okay, I got lucky twice. It looked like those two balls going to Dingo Dallas go. It looked like it was going to go into my goal. But yeah, I grew up with games like Bingo. I actually played a not really, which is obvious. But I also had Trouble Battleship another game of the lights. Yeah, those are games I grew up with, with pretty much. So I got a question for you as I won, won this gem challenge <laughs> in one shot and with only pretty much seconds to spare on that one. What are some board games that you liked? Or I guess games that are like packaged in board games. Also something new here, after we beat the World 3 boss, Relics will come into play. Relics will now be released in all all the workroom mini games now. So that has been you are now able to play relic challenges now, which is something new. Now this one I'm just gonna sh now the crystal challenge I'm just gonna show off three times because this is probably the worst crystal challenge in the game in my opinion. Avoid touching the special balls. These balls do not score. You start with ten balls instead of the usual twenty. Because guess what? While we're while these balls are in play, randomly they're gonna turn red. And it's unknown whether or not it's unknown whether or not when the balls will turn red. I believe you can't once they turn red, I don't think you can do anything about them. You can't deflect can you deflect them? I don't know. I'll have to find out. But e I, hope, I hope to find out the easy way. I'm doing fine. Okay, I can't. I couldn't deflect them. I don't think. No. I couldn't deflect them. I could not deflect them. Now it doesn't look that bad because it's ten. Yeah, I can't deflect them. I I tried. It was it was clearly a deflection and it didn't register. Well that was easy. Well, that was fortunate there. By the way, this is my third attempt, so there you go. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste my time on this gem challenge. That was my third attempt. Yeah. Not worth my time. And I think 
as much as I like to do the next mini game, I think I might call it from here. So yeah, that's all. Next time we're gonna do Manic Panic. Probably my favorite polar stage. Probably my favorite polar stage. Yeah. Thanks for watching. This has been Drew Mario, and I'll see you in the next part.